A meme is only as good as the person that creates it. That must be why all the flat earth memes are terrible then. But seriously, they're all bad. And today we take on a whole raft of them in a flat earth meme debunking compilation special. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Meme Debunking with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin though, a big thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand. Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with the audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. You can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools. So you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. And if you've got a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools, accept credit cards, PayPal and Apple Pay, and in eligible countries, offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. Get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Right, on with today's video and a nice spread of flat earth memes. Now, I've picked a few memes which won't take as long to explain as they usually do. So we can package them all up together and make a nice little compilation. And we start with this little beauty. This one is a classic. Hashtag that's awkward. Of course, what the maker of this meme is trying to suggest is that the candle does not burn without oxygen. So then, why would a sun burn in space? Well, the truly awkward thing here is not their argument, but the meme itself and the creator's stunning lack of basic physics knowledge. The sun is not a fire in the traditional sense that we know it here on Earth. It's not chemical combustion. It's a nuclear fusion reactor, and that does not require oxygen to work. Hashtag, that really is awkward. Moving on, and our next meme is this one. The Trans-Australian Railway has the longest straight stretch of rail track in the world. 301 miles without a single curve. First off, a track straightness refers to the lack of horizontal bends or turns, not vertical ones. Secondly, as we've said time and time again, the curvature of the Earth is very subtle over small distances. 301 miles is just 1.2% of the total circumference of Earth. Let's look at what 1.2% of a circle is, shall we? As you can see, not exactly curvaceous, hey? Our next meme then is fast incoming. Let's put it up on screen. What's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this picture is that the creator doesn't know about scale. Let me show you what I mean. Oh no, Felix is the size of an ant by the looks of it. Here, he seems to now be the size of a mouse. Oh dear, Felix, you seem to have grown again. Now he is the size of a planet. You see my point. Of course, all of this is irrelevant because the footage of Felix was taken using a fisheye lens, which as we know, distorts the horizon. Therefore, it's a pointless comparison in the first place. And actually, the Flat Earthers try to use the fact that this was a fisheye lens to try and debunk the fact that there is a curve in the, in the image anyway. So then, why use it like this? That is dishonesty. Moving on, and our next little meme is this peach. Real photo of the sun taken with a P900. True. CGI image of the sun given by NASA. Fake. Apparently the creator of this meme isn't aware that different filters can produce different images of the sun. The P900 photo on the left looks like it was taken using a standard solar filter. And that shows the sun's photosphere or surface quite nicely. Now the photo on the right, NASA's one, looks like it shows the sun's chromosphere, probably taken with some sort of helium filter. The chromosphere, by the way, is a layer of plasma that sits between the sun's surface and its atmosphere. So both images are true and neither are CGI. 
Right, our final meme is coming up. What do we have? Let's take a look. Nikon P1000, modern technology, 125 times zoom, planets and stars out of focus. Galileo's telescope, 400 years old, 14 times zoom, perfect solid and gaseous balls in outer space. The key word here is purpose. What is the purpose of a Nikon P1000? It's for terrestrial photography, not astrophotography. The lens and the sensor of the P1000 are not designed to capture sharp focused images of planets or stars. The atmospheric turbulence for one thing would play havoc. And that's not to say it can't be done, if you know how to use it correctly. A telescope, regardless of its age, was designed to view planets and stars. And in Galileo's time, there were no photos. He sketched everything from his eyepiece, what he saw through his eyepiece. Its purpose was to view the night sky and it did so well enough to allow Galileo to sketch his drawings. Well, there we go. Five flat earth memes, all dispatched into the ether. What do you all think of those then? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you see a flat earth meme that you think needs debunking, send it over to me via email at simandan at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumbs up button too. And of course, sharing this one wherever you see a flat earth meme. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today. Remember, visit squarespace.com uh, for your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan for 10% off your first purchase of domain or website. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great couple of days and I'll see you on Friday for the greatest flat earth fail you have ever seen. See you then.